channel. Welcome back to a vlog. Here's something different today. Um, I really want to start vlogging again and I know I've been saying that but we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna send it and try it out. I'm gonna do my cash stuffing in this video as well so we'll see how it all goes but it is Sunday morning. It's Mother's Day actually. 820 right now and I need to eat some breakfast. Last weekend I did not eat very well. I think it was it was either Saturday no it was Sunday. I didn't eat like all day and I hadn't really realized that I didn't eat all day and I ended up getting really dizzy and almost passed out. So my best friend was like oh you should try setting alarms on your phone on the weekends because when I'm at work like when I do specific things, I also like in the mornings I get there, my kids are arriving and then they go to specials at like eight o'clock. So that's when I eat breakfast when I'm on my prep. Um, and then I have, when they eat snack, I eat a snack. When they go to recess, I eat my lunch. When like I get back from lunch duty, I eat another snack. And then by the time I get home, like I come home, I eat another snack and then we have dinner a couple of hours later. So my days are kind of like time blocked. So it's a lot easier for me to remember when to eat. But when I'm on, like when it's the weekend and I have my own like free time all day, I don't have those time blocks cause I'm not like doing that activity. And so I've been forgetting to eat on the weekends and it's been really bad. So yesterday I set alarms and it worked out really, really well. I have a breakfast and lunch alarm. So I do my breakfast alarm at eight, my lunch alarm at 12. I have a snack alarm at 10, two and four. And then I stop with the alarms cause by about six, like we always eat around anywhere between five and seven is when we eat. It just kind of depends on the day and depends on like how hungry he and I are. Um, but I always remember to eat at that point. And then sometimes I didn't last night and I probably should have cause I woke up really hungry this morning and I was hungry last night, but most of the time I'll have a snack after dinner or I'll have like dessert or something like that. I just did not feel like getting back up yesterday. Um, so anyway, it's 8:20. my alarm went off 20 minutes ago and I was like, okay, I need to get up and make some breakfast. So that's what we're out to do. I don't really know what I want. I have some bagels, but I bought bagels for the week and I just, I don't want to get too burnt out on it, but I'm also like, that could be like so quick and easy, like a quick, easy breakfast that I really don't have to put that much work or thought into because my other thought is to make some eggs, but it's the whole process and it's like cleaning the pot after. And I'm just like, I don't really want to do that. And I would make some bacon, but we don't have any paper plates and that's what I need to make my bacon. So I think we're just gonna have a bagel and cream cheese this morning. Um, but we do kind of have a busy day. So like I said, I'm about to eat breakfast, I'm about to make breakfast, eat breakfast, and then I'm gonna film, like we're gonna do my cash stuffing. I was gonna say I was gonna film that video, but the video is going in this video. So we're gonna do my cash stuffing, run to Target because I need to get um, just like conditioner and hair gel and like a couple of products for me. But then I also need to get my mom something. I've been think trying to think like all week what I wanted to get her and I don't know. So that and then come home and do my hair obviously because it's wild and crazy. And then we're taking my mom out to dinner tonight. We're going to a Mexican restaurant and I have been saying my entire pregnancy that I will not go into a Mexican restaurant because I can't have queso. And then I started looking online and it's so conflicting. Some people are like, yes, you can have it because pretty much all cheese in the US is pasteurized. It's like so scared because I still see some places say, or like some of like the baby sites, like not like Reddit or anything, but there's a couple of baby like websites that I follow or that I, check regularly that are like if it's pasteurized you're technically fine but you can still get listeria from it um and so they just advise you to just like steer clear of it because it's better to be safe than sorry and listeria like you have a higher risk of getting it when you're pregnant like you can get listeria at any point um but you have a higher risk for it when you're pregnant because of your immune system not like really being a thing when you're pregnant um and because listeria can cause premature labor, miscarriage, or stillborn, 
um, or your baby being stillborn. It's just like, I really want the queso, but I also like don't want to be freaking out the entire time. So it's just like, is it worth it? And I don't think it's going to be worth it for me because my anxiety cannot handle that. So I was going to get it. I was really going to get it. But then I'm like, I did a lot of research this morning and I'm just like, if these places that are telling me it's probably not safe, then it's probably not safe. Okay. This is my mom calling because I FaceTimed her and she didn't answer. Hi, mommy. Hi, baby. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. While I was talking to my mom, I went ahead and made my bagel and I just put some cream cheese spread on it. I did chive and green onion or chive and I don't know what it is, but it's not really hitting the spot the way that I wanted it to. So I don't know if that I'm going to eat that half. I might just have to do half a bagel, but anyway, breakfast is eaten. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cash stuff. I'm gonna start with my wallet because there's money in here that I need. I'm gonna scan my receipts into Fetch Rewards. Fetch is just an app that you can uh, take pictures of your receipts and upload them and then those receipts turn into points and the points turn into money off. So if you're interested in that, I would highly recommend. I will have my link there for you. And then I have some money, like I said, this money I need to cash stuff with, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. I had to move a little bit of money around once I cash stuffed. So this might be a little bit interesting. Okay, I'm actually going to start with my bills binder. So I have two bills that I just kept in my bank account because one of them came out yesterday and then another one comes out tomorrow. So it didn't make sense for me to take it out. But I am going to be stuffing electric and electric this month is 132. So I did 100, 20, oh this is ripped, 20, 10, and two ones. Maybe. Okay, so 132 and electric. And then copay 25. Actually, I did three copays. So I actually am doing 75, but I'm going to go ahead and do. Oh, nope. I do them all in like 20s and 5s so that I can just take out my weekly amount. So this should be 75. So 20, 40, 60, 5, 75. I did three copays on this one, so I'm good for the next three weeks. That's it for bills. We have, oh. I have my brother's birthday. I'm actually gonna pull this Mother's Day one out cause we're gonna stuff for my mom's gift that I need to buy. Um, and I'm just gonna take it with this. But for my brother's birthday, I went ahead and budgeted a 50. His birthday is next week. So I will probably just get him a gift card um, or just sell him the money, but I wanted to go ahead and pull that now. I think that's all that's going in there. I'm gonna do Mother's Day in a minute. Some grocery money, but I'm actually gonna use that to go shopping with right now. So let's see, I have a 50 in here. I budgeted 170 for groceries. I used a 20 when I went, I do a Walmart pickup and then I pick up a couple of extra things at Kroger. Um, so I already used the 20 at Kroger already. So I should have 150 left for groceries. I know I won't need this much um, when I'm out right now, but I am gonna go ahead and take all of it. And then anything that I don't use will just go in the like extra grocery money that we have set aside. 
Um, I need my weekly $50 spending. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that from my reserve. Get my wallet all set up. This is what I'm saying by this is probably going to be a little bit chaotic. I do need to get gas, but I just left that in my bank account because I need to get that like now. <laughs> my gas light just came on, so. Okay. And these is getting 25 in his savings. So now he has 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 90, 5, huh? Did I do that right? 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 90, 5, 6, 7, and 8. $98. So he's just about halfway there. I might be able to stuff a little bit more in here. I just have to kind of see. Because how I did this is a little bit, a little tricky, honestly. Um, nope this envelope okay and then I did stuff um I did pull some to stuff for my car insurance which is due next week I just don't know if I stuffed them if I pulled enough so it's 540 so there's four 20 40 60 80 There's 480, 490. Okay, so I'm just short of 50, which is not a big deal. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 490. Okay, so I have 490 in car insurance. So I just need a 50, which I have. I just have to pull it, which I might just wait until next week. And then these extra ones... I'm just going to put in Dave's envelope. So now he has 102. All right. And then I'm just going to, I have some money on my card. Like I said, I didn't pull money, some extra money that I should have. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm just gonna get my mom's Mother's Day gift from my card. And that should be fine. All right, I just got gas and now I just pulled up to Target. There's like nobody here. I think coming on the morning of Mother's Day when everybody is like out at brunch and stuff is really gonna be nice because like I said, there's like nobody in here. So we're gonna run in, grab our things and then head home. Okay, so I just got out of Target. I'm gonna do a haul for you when I get home. Um, But I got a lot of great stuff, but I just got a um Starbucks drink. Dave really, really, really wanted to try the new berry refresher. I'm surprised that he got it because it has boba in it and he doesn't like boba, but that's what he wanted. So I got one of those for him and I was just going to get like a decaf coffee, but, um, they have these spicy pineapple drinks. So I got one of those. There's like a lot of tahini in it at the bottom. So I'm going to stir it. Somebody just parked right next to me. Um, but I got it with lemonade and I'm really excited. I might have to like really shake this up though, but it's so pretty. Oh, that is good. That's really good. Holy sh- oh god. That's actually incredible. <laughs> That's gonna be so good this summer as well because I love to go out and get Starbucks but if I've already had my coffee for the morning I don't feel like I need another one also like it's very crooked but okay I'm gonna get home so that Dave can have his drink but 10 out of 10 if you like spicy drinks 
get the spicy pineapple drink i'll have to like look and see what it's actually called i just was like do you have like that spicy pineapple one and she was like yeah i know what you're talking about and i was like great can i add lemonade to it i don't know if it already comes with lemonade but i asked her for lemonade mine and it is chef's kiss so good i got dave the one without the lemonade though he just got the refresher got home um this drink is absolutely amazing my camera is flashing at me let's see if i can get this done before it dies um i wanted to show you what i got at target so I just got my mom a card and I got some just white tissue paper for her gift. For myself, I needed some more hair gel. So I just picked up some hair gel. And then I also needed more conditioner. I'm good on shampoo, but I wanted more conditioner. I've really been liking the native uh, shampoo and conditioner. I've used, I in there, it's like the coconut one. And I really like that. But then I smelled this ocean and timber one and it smells so good you can't see it because it's super bright in here but it smells really good so i want to try that um i've been really freaked out by my straws lately because i use reusable straws and they're like solid color so i can't see through them and it's just like kind of been creeping me out because i lost my straw cleaner so i went to get a straw cleaner and they don't you have to like buy a pack of straws. So I just bought these new pack of straws. So I'm gonna get rid of all my other ones. Just throw them out. They're all really old anyway. So I'm just gonna throw them out. Um, but I like these because even these like solid color ones, they're still like kind of see-through. So I think that I'll be able to at least like see through them and be able to see like, is there stuff in there? But then it also comes with a brush. So I'll be able to clean them. So I got some new straws. I needed more mascara and more brow gel. So I just used the Maybelline, the False Lash Lift Mascara. I like the ultra black one. I have the very black one and it's just like, it's good, but it's not as black and as pigmented as I like. So I got the ultra black one and then I used the NYX brow glue and I just put this on um, just with the spoolie and then I take my e.l.f. spoolie and I just kind of like brush it out more to get more of that like laminated brow look but I don't like the brow like the pot brow gel I have some if I ever like need it but it's not my favorite it's very drying on my brows and my skin is already super dry and then I have been seeing these every time I go to Target and I'm like I really want to try them so I got these these are the elf squeeze me lip balms and we're gonna try them right now I got the vanilla frosting one and I got the strawberry one um, because in my opinion, you can never have too much lip balm. They're so little, <laughs> they're really tiny, but they're also very cute. So these will just like go in my purse. The vanilla frosting one smells really good. It's nice and like thick and balmy, but also I'm sure gives a little bit of a shine so that one and then i'll try the strawberry one later i don't really feel like opening that one right now because you have to squeeze it to get the smell out i don't really want to do that right now i got some more um wax melts because we go through these so fast i got the orange blossom and oak i feel like i've gotten this one before but i don't know but this one smells really good and then my absolute favorite wax melt scent okay i couldn't make it out my camera died so we're on the phone now. My absolute favorite scent is this rainbow marshmallow wax melt. It just smells so good and I can honestly smell this through the entire apartment. So anytime I see this in stock, I pick up an extra one because we go through these so, so, so quickly. And for the stuff for my mom, I got her a little bracelet set. Um, so I just thought that this was really cute. She likes like little dainty bracelets. so. I just got her this little bracelet set and then I have like a little like tiny little wallet. It's a coach wallet and I cannot find the one that we've looked for years because she bought it for me for Christmas like four years ago or something like that. Um, and we've looked and I cannot find one. So she's been mentioning a lot that she just wants like a little wallet for like her cards and her change like when she's just running somewhere really quick or using one of her really small purses. And I don't know if she bought one, so I just got her a little one. Um, it's just tan and has a little zip, but then it has a place for her coins um, and then a place for all of her cards. So, like I said, it's not the exact kind that she 
liked from that I have, but I figure if she doesn't have one, this is super cute. And if she does, you could never have too many wallets, right? Molly is trying to get in my pregnancy pillow because she really likes it. Then also for my mom, but also for me, they were having a sale on um, candles. It was buy one, get one half off. So these are $17 candles and I have been wanting a brand new candle. So this one, this is by the brand Threshold and this is Red Sand Shores. It's a soy uh, wax blend candle, but it's huge first of all. And I like these wicks. I've never had a candle with a wick like this before. So I'm really excited to try it, but this one just smells so good and it's so pretty. I love, like I love this. So I got this one for me. Got a coconut water and orchid one for my mom. So this will be the last thing in her gift. This one just smells so good. It smells very like spa like. So yeah, I think that these are, they're so nice looking and they're so cute. So like, even if she doesn't burn it, it's just really cute to have out. So yeah, this is the gift that I got for her. So she'll have these three things and then the card obviously from us, but yeah, that was everything that I got at Target. It was honestly a really fun trip out and it not being like super crowded because it's Mother's Day. So everybody was already out was also really, really nice. But okay, I'm going to put this stuff away and then I've got some mozzarella sticks in the air fryer that I need to go eat because I need to eat lunch. I did not have a snack. So in between breakfast and lunch. So that's bad for me. I should not do that, but I'm gonna go get that. I think I also put a chicken finger in there for me, but I'm gonna go get some lunch, eat that, and then I'm gonna jump in the shower so I can do my hair and then do this pile of laundry that's behind me. And then probably just kind of like hang out. We're probably gonna leave in like three and a half hours or so because the restaurant that we're going to right now or tonight is like 10 minutes down the street from us. So we don't have to leave like super, super early to get there, but I don't know with traffic since it's Mother's Day if it's gonna be bad or not, but I'm gonna go get my food. Okay, so I just did my hair. I just put it in a towel because I want it to dry as much as possible before we go. Also, I never clean up the, I don't know why. I hate cleaning up the counter right after I do my hair. I like to have a little bit of time and then I clean it up. I don't know why. It's just what I've literally always done since I do my hair like this. Anyway, it's 2.12 right now and I'm kind of freaking out because I'm kind of stressed because there's a lot that I want to try and get done before we leave because coming home, it's Sunday night, coming home after dinner, I know I'm going to be full. I know I'm just going to want to like relax and not do anything and not have anything to do. So I'm going to try and like speed get through a bunch of stuff. But basically what we have to do, I have to clean this at some point. I'm going to have to do my makeup. I want to get the laundry. Dave did laundry today. He actually did laundry like last week and I just haven't put the clothes away. So I need to put all the clothes away, fold and put all the clothes away from laundry. I need to put my mom's gifts together. I need to go make my lunch for the next week, like meal prep and everything like that. I took out the veggies that I'm going to make um, to thaw so I can just throw them in the air fryer and get them seasoned. So hopefully they're like semi-thawed enough to at least like cut up the broccoli and then like toss it in oil and I'll just throw it in the air fryer while I'm doing the rest of the stuff but then I also want to try and get some work done um for my dad's company because I haven't done that yet so I'm going to try and get like all of these things done so that we can be ready to go we'll probably leave here at like 340 345 is what I'm guessing so let's see if I can do all of this in an hour and a half so I just have some sweet potato and broccoli it's not all the way thawed but it's thawed enough so I'm gonna try and just cut the broccoli up a little bit um or I might just honestly I'm probably just gonna do it whole so I'm just gonna add some oil and some seasoning and I'm gonna throw this in the air fryer so that it can start air frying and then I just have chicken sausage that I'm gonna cut up and add it to this as well
and throw that in there as well. So all right, so this is how this is looking. I'm gonna add a little bit more time to it. There's like two minutes left. I'm gonna add about eight more minutes and let this go for another 10 minutes and then um, let that cool down. Cut up the cantaloupe. It actually tastes really good. Babe, do you want some cantaloupe? Okay. So I'm gonna put the lid on this and put this in the fridge, but this is really good. Okay, don't come for me because I know that you're going to say that this is burnt, but like this is perfectly crispy for me. I, I like my food really, really, really crispy. So this is amazing for me. So that's cooling. I'm going to pop this in the microwave because we can't run our microwave and our air fryer at the same time because they're on the same outfit at our outlet and they are the same circuit and it always blows the circuit. So, but I'm going to make some quinoa and brown rice. So I just buy these little packs and you just like break it up, tear a little hole, and then pop it in the microwave for 90 seconds. And then I will mix it with that. And then I'll go ahead and package it up for my lunches for the week. Okay, and then I just put some sauteed onion on top. I know it doesn't look like a ton of food, but I eat smaller meals. But I also have fruit with this um, and normally some chips. So that's like enough for the lunch portion of my meal. And then I always have a snack like afterwards so I try not to make my lunches too big otherwise it should it just doesn't work out it is 3 39 we're supposed to leave at 3 45 um so I'm going to try to speed and get my makeup done I got everything else done I went to film like record me folding my laundry and then I was filming on my phone because my camera wasn't all the way charged yet and it said that I ran out of storage, which is so annoying and it's why I don't normally film on my phone when I'm doing like vlogs or anything like that because um, I film on my back camera and I can't actually see. So hopefully this is actually recording. Otherwise I'm gonna be kind of sad because I went through and I deleted some old stuff off my phone that I didn't need anymore. Well, let's go outside. I cannot get rid of this patch of breakout and I'm pretty confident that it's just because I'm pregnant like just having all these hormones and stuff like that everywhere but it is super super annoying to have and deal with so I'm like trying so hard to hurry up like on the grand scheme of things, we're right down the street and I'm pregnant and people I feel like expect me to move a little bit slower being pregnant, but I'm still trying to get out the door as quick as possible. And I'm so thirsty, but my water bottle is all the way over there. I'm going to have to kill some water at the restaurant for sure, for sure. I'm gonna throw on some bronzer. Cover effects bronzer. This is my all time favorite bronzer. And their blush, which I've had this blush for like ever and I will not hit pan on it for some reason. But I just love it so much. It's so pretty. I hit pan on the bronzer and my sister bought me two of them for Christmas. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of the bronzer, the like shimmery side as my eyeshadow today because I don't have time for anything else. Throw on some eyeliner. Hmm? Talking to the vlog. Hi vlog. <laughs> Set it with my e.l.f. setting spray. And let me do mascara. I will say this e.l.f. lip balm, I put it on before my shower and 
it's been several hours since I reapplied it, but my lips still feel super moisturized from it. And I definitely like washed it off obviously in the shower, but I can still feel like, I don't feel the balm on my lips, but my lips still feel really moisturized from using it. So that's a plus for sure. I feel like I make the weirdest face when I do my mascara. I feel like I look crazy whenever I do my makeup. Like when I record myself doing makeup and I like look back, I'm like, oh my gosh, fix your face, bro. Honestly, when I film anything and I'm like not talking, I just have like the weirdest face, like facial expressions when I'm doing stuff and I just like cannot with myself. I'm almost done. <laughs> Our linting took a little bit longer than I thought. It took a couple of my minutes. We lint rolled each other. Mm -hmm. Telling the vlog that we lint rolled each other. Because we're both wearing black. This is as close as I can get to matching him. But I was planning on wearing this before he decided to wear a black shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the one that changed from the blue shirt to the black shirt. I never put anything else on. Yeah, but that's what you were planning on wearing. Throw my earrings in. Put my ring on. I'm going to grab a sweater just because I don't know how, like it's hot outside, but I don't know how cold it's going to be in the restaurant throw my sandals on and my hands are greasy from putting on lotion all right it's about as good as it's gonna get we gotta go <laughs> Didn't get more? okay they're coming out hot <laughs> yeah i'm here ready to, I'm here ready to have to say uh yo uh, thank you this may or may not be about it. Okay, we just got back from dinner and it was so good. They did order queso like for the table and then Dave got queso on his. So it was kind of sad not having any queso, but everybody said that it was amazing. And my mom got a spicy jalapeno margarita, which is my favorite type of margarita. And she said that it was amazing. So it's literally 15 minutes down the street. So as soon as he comes out, queso and margaritas for sure but um they both like my parents and then my brother and sister-in-law got me flowers as well i'm not like technically counting this one as my first like real mother's day but everybody's like i mean but you're you're carrying a child like you are a mom so it's been nice like i've been saying thank you to everybody so i'm gonna go ahead and put these in this water as well but so pretty so guys it's 7 45 and I just laid down I still have to like get up and take my makeup off and all that but I think I'm gonna get a snack here soon so I'll just do all that but I just kind of wanted to get in bed and like relax for a little bit and I also want to start editing this video so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here but I really hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me all day I had a lot of fun filming today so I'm really hopeful that this turns out good and the start of many vlogs to come but that was it for this one guys thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next vlog bye